and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at isomers. Some carbon car compounds can be large enough that they can have multiple structures for the same molecular formula. These are called isomers. Isomers can be part of the same or different homologous series. Today we're going to be looking at alkenes, alkenes and cycloalkenes. So first of all let's look at butane. Butane is the first alkene where we can have different structures. So butane has a formula of C4H10. The most basic structure for butane is where we have the four carbons in a line. These are then surrounded by the hydrogens. make our butane structure. To draw the structure for an isomer, for an alkene, the easiest way to do it is to take the end carbon off and move it in one carbon to create a branch. One way to check if you have drawn isomers rather than just redrawing the same structure is to try and name your isomers. The structure on the left would be butane, the structure on the right would be 2-methylpropane. If they have different names, then they have different structures. Looking at something larger now, we have pentane, with a structure of C5H12. Pentane we can have in a straight line as well, and I'm going to draw this as shortened structural formula to save time. So here is pentane. You can then take off the end carbon and move it in one to create a branch. So here we have pentane and here we have 2-methylbutane. We could also draw this structure here. However, this is just a mirror image of this one, which means that it's not an isomer. If you were to name it, this is also 2-methylbutane. Our final isomer is where we take off another end carbon and make another branch. This time we have 2,2-dimethylpropane, another name, so another structure. Pause the video now and try to draw the isomers for hexane. So let's start with the molecular formula for hexane, C6H14. So the, the most straightforward isomer is where we have the six carbons in a row. So there is hexane. If we take off our end carbon, we can then move it in to create a branch. To create 2-methylpentane. Now remember, you could also draw this branch coming off this carbon and it would be the same structure. We can move that carbon along one to create 3-methylpentane. And now we can take off a second branch. So we can have a 2-2 dimethylbutane or 2,3-dimethylbutane and that is all of the isomers of hexane.
Pause this video now and try this question. So which of these is an isomer of heptene? First of all, you need to think about what the formula is for heptene. So we have C7H16. So your first thought would be to look at all of the structures and find out if they all fit that formula. So this one here fits the formula and so does this one. This one, however, does not. We then have to decide between these two which is an isomer of heptane. The first one is a straight line of seven carbons, which is heptane. If we're looking for an isomer, it has to have a different name and a different structure. So that would lead us to this one here. Let's now look at the alkenes. So the alkenes are a family with a double bond in their structure. We're looking at butene, which has a formula of C4H8. And there are different ways to draw isomers for the alkenes. We'll first of all draw a simple structure for butene. So first of all, you can create branches like we did with the alkenes. So if we take off this end carbon and we move it in one, here we have a different structure. The other way that we can draw isomers for the alkenes is to move the double bond. This leads us to three structures with three different names. So we have butuanine, we have 2 methyl and then butuene. Try drawing the isomers for pentene. So for pentene, we have a formula of C5H10. So the most simple isomer of pentene is with the double bond at the end. So here is pentone. We can then move the double bond To create pent 2e. We cannot move the double bond one more because that would just be create the mirror image of this one and would also be pent 2e. We can also look at creating branches. So if we base it off of the, uh, the pent 1e structure, if we take a branch off the end, so we've got butene one in one in, and we can put our branch here. Or we can move the branch along one. So here we have two methyl butene one in or 3-methylbutone. We can also do the same but move the double bond. So here we have a butene structure and we can put branches on. So for this structure we cannot move the branch here because we just create another mirror image. We can then shorten the chain again once more to create propionine and we can put two branches on. So here we have 2,2-dimethyl propionine. The final family we're looking at is the cycloalkenes. These have a ring structure. So here is uh, our first cycloalkane, cyclopropane. Cyclopropane has this structure.
However, cyclopropane does have an isomer, but not within the same family. The, the cycloalkane family are isomers with the alkenes. So the isomer for cyclopropane is propene. If we have a look at C4H8, which we had looked at for butene, we can also get cyclobutane. So here is the most simple structure for cyclobutane. However, we can do the same as we did with the other isomers and take off a branch. So here we can get methyl cyclopropane. The other isomers for this formula would be those of butane. butene. Try and find the missing isomers for pentene. So pentene had the formula C5H10 and we drew all of the unsaturated isomers for pentene. However, there are cycloalkane versions. So the most simple is cyclopentane. But we can take branches off of this. So here we have methyl cyclobutane and we can reduce it further to the cyclopentane, a propane. We can also create a branch which has two carbons in it, an ethyl branch. And here we found four more isomers for painting. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Miss Adams Kim for regular updates and new videos. Bye for now.